Hey guys, this is Brent from HostMyApple.com and I'm here today to show you an easy way to set up a basic web server on Leopard or Snow Leopard. Apple has included Apache in all versions of OS X and is incredibly easy to, to set up. And we're going to jump right into it here. We're going to go to System Preferences and we are going to enable Apache. Once you're in System Preferences, click on the Sharing icon, and then you're going to look for the item labeled Web Sharing, and you're going to enable it. Easy enough. Once Web Sharing is enabled, we want to verify that Web Sharing is working properly, so let's open up our web browser, and let's navigate to Localhost and we get the Apache page so this is giving us a good indication that Apache is working properly. You also could verify this by navigating to the IP address that is shown on the sharing screen here. Now the next thing that we're going to look at is we're going to look at the folder that Apache is sharing. So let's minimize this and from Finder, we're going to click Go and we're going to click Go to Folder. Now we're going to navigate to private forward slash etc forward slash Apache 2. Now, once we're here, we're going to look for the file labeled httpd.conf. This is the Apache configuration file and it's here you can set your, your root directory for your web server and also different things like what port Apache is running off of and various other options. We're going to modify this so I'm going to copy it just for safety, place it on my desktop in case I need to restore, maybe something goes wrong, who knows. So let's open up our file. I'm going to open it with Text Wrangler. I highly recommend using Text Wrangler for this because it'll make your life so much more easy. You can Google it, find it, it's free. Now, let's give it a moment to open up. Now, we're going to scroll down about a quarter of the way, and we're going to look for two lines. The first line is going to be document root. And then the second line is going to say directory. Now let's change document root first. Currently it's set to forward slash library forward slash web server forward slash documents. I don't I don't really care for that. It's kind of long. I don't want to navigate to that every time I want to make a change to my website. So let's make it something a little bit easier. Open up your, your finder window. Navigate to your user folder. Mine's labeled MacBook. Um, so whatever your user account is set to that you use to log in to Leopard or Snow Leopard, uh, navigate to that. And then I want you to find the sites folder. Once you've found that, Choose copy and let's navigate to your hard drive. It's under devices. And let's paste this directory into the root here. All right, you can see that we have copied site, the sites folder here. Now we want to point our Apache configuration file to the sites directory. So we're going to start at the document root line. We're going to highlight everything here. We're going to make it say forward slash sites. Now the second line, the directory line, we're going to modify it. And again, we're going to make it say forward slash sites. Now let's save the Apache configuration file. And if you're using Text Wrangler, it will ask you for your password. 
And now, because this is a configuration file and Apache is currently running, we're going to have to restart Apache. So let's go back into our system preferences. And we're going to disable web sharing. Now we can see web sharing off. And then we're going to re-enable web sharing. Now let's go back to our web browser. And if we hit refresh, we should see the new sites folder load up into, file, into your web browser. Now if we want to go even further and double check that we are indeed serving out of the sites folder, we can navigate to sites and let's open the index.html with our text editor. Let's change the line that says your website to hostmyapple.com. Change it to whatever you want. Let's save this. Now let's go back to our web browser. Hit refresh. And there we are. We can see that Apache is properly serving out of the sites directory off of your root, off of your hard drive. So again, this is a very basic way to, to set up your web server. There's, there's more you can do with this. You can change the port. You can enable PHP. I'm going to create separate videos to, to go along with that later on. Also, I'm going to create an, a separate video that's going to show you how to host multiple sites off of a single Mac computer using Leopard or Snow Leopard. So from here, if you want to customize the website, you can edit the index.html in your sites folder, or you can copy your entire website to this folder, and it will load up from the default port 80 on your IP address. Um, if you forward the port on your router to your computer, you should be able to connect to it from outside. That is, unless your ISP is blocking port 80, which some tend to do, if that's the case, you can use a service called DynDNS, look it up on Google, and it'll give you an easy way to, to work around that. So that's all for, for me today. Um, please go to my website, hostmyapple.com, and we, have, uh, we do Mac Mini co-location and dedicated hosting. So check that out. There's a uh, support link on the home page. Once you click on that, go to the knowledge base and you'll find my other videos there and some more documents to go in more detail there. And that's going to be it. Have a good day.